Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade to Lightroom Classic, released in October of 2017. Now this video will apply regardless of which prior version of Lightroom you're coming from. Now people often ask me whether they should clean up their missing files and folders and other organizational issues in their old version of Lightroom before upgrading. It really doesn't matter. You can upgrade and then clean up afterwards. Your disorganization will follow you just fine. The first thing to do is to go into your old version of Lightroom and make sure you understand exactly where your catalog is. Go up to Lightroom on a Mac or Edit on a PC and then down to Catalog Settings. Make a note of the location of your catalog and the file name. Hopefully Lightroom Classic will find your old catalog but if it doesn't, you'll be able to tell Lightroom Classic where it is. Next, close Catalog Settings and then quit Lightroom. The upgrade process will make a copy of your catalog and upgrade that, but it's never a bad idea to back up your catalog. I'll skip this time. Now Lightroom Classic is only being offered to Creative Cloud subscribers, so you'll need to have the Creative Cloud application to download it. I'll show you how to find this application in case you don't already have it. First, go to adobe.com and sign into your account. By the way, if you don't have a password manager to manage all of your passwords, I would recommend one. I use Dashlane, but there are lots of good ones out there. In your account, click on Download Desktop Apps. Now, Adobe may change their website between now and the time you watch this video, but you're looking for the Creative Cloud desktop app. Click on Download, and then once it downloads, double-click on the file and install it. Next, go ahead and open their Creative Cloud application. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to search for it by doing Command Space. But you can go into your applications or into your program files. So here's the Creative Cloud application. Go to the Apps tab and find the listing for Lightroom Classic. Not Lightroom CC, not Lightroom CC 2015, but Lightroom Classic. I'm recording this video before it's been released, so I don't have it in my list here. But click on the Install button next to that application. Lightroom will install it, and then you'll get a button here to open it. Click on Open. Now, this message is one of a few things that can happen to you. Lightroom couldn't find my catalog. If you get this message, don't choose Use Default Catalog. Click on Choose a Different Catalog. See if the catalog that you wrote down just a minute ago is listed here. If it is, select it and click on Open. If it's not, click on Choose a Different Catalog. Don't choose to create a new catalog or your photos and work will not transfer from your old version of Lightroom. Navigate to where your catalog is. Mine's in my Pictures folder, Lightroom Catalog, and it's called Main Lightroom 6 Catalog, .lrcat. Don't click on the Previews file, it has to be the lrcat file. And you'll click on Choose. And then you'll click on Open. Now, if everything went well from the beginning, you will have gotten the Lightroom Catalog Upgrade dialog right away. Before I cover this upgrade dialog, I want to cover one more scenario in terms of what could go wrong, and that would be where Lightroom opens up with an empty catalog. If you're on the Upgrade dialog, you can skip ahead. Now, if when you open Lightroom, it's empty, that means that Lightroom couldn't find your catalog. In that case, go to File, open catalog and navigate to where that old Lightroom catalog is that you wrote down. So mine was in my Lightroom catalog folder and it was called Main Lightroom 6 Catalog. And then you'll click on Open. Okay, so everybody should be on this upgrade dialog now. Notice that your Lightroom Classic catalog will go into this same folder as your old catalog and it will most likely be named your old catalog name Dash 2. I'll show you later how to rename this. I'll click on Upgrade. 
Now my catalog is fairly small, so this process is going to go fast, but yours may go very slow. Lightroom is compressing a lot of information in the catalog so that Lightroom will launch faster going forward, and that process can take quite a while. You can read through this message on what's new and then click on Got It. Then you may get a guided tour. If so, you can read through that or you can close it. Then you should see all of the photos and all of the work that you had done in your previous version of Lightroom. You should see any develop presets that you've created, any metadata presets in the import dialog, collections, templates, etc. The process really should be a smooth one. Let me mention process version quickly. I'm going to take this photo into the develop module. If you're coming from Lightroom 3 or earlier, you're going to see that you still have the old sliders, recovery and fill light. Starting in Lightroom 4, we got shadows and highlights. You'll also see a lightning bolt. So that indicates that you're using the old developed technology. Watch my video on process version for information and advice on whether or not to update your photos and what that means. If you're coming from Lightroom 4 or 5, you'll still see a lightning bolt on your photos because with Lightroom Classic, there is also a new process version, a new version of developed technology, and that's process version 4. You're going to see that most of your photos are in process version 3. But that was a very minor change, only affecting photos on which you've done adjustment brush work and used auto mask. Any photos that you've worked on where you didn't use auto mask in the adjustment brush will automatically update as soon as you do any work on the photos. So you really don't have to worry about it. And if you don't intend to do any more work on the photos, you can just leave them in the old process version. So really this is an issue that mostly people coming from Lightroom 3 or earlier need to be concerned about. And you should watch my video on process version. All right, last thing we need to do is rename the catalog. We're gonna go out to the folder where the catalog is located. I like to get there again by going into catalog settings. So Lightroom catalog settings on a Mac, edit catalog settings on a PC. And on the general tab, I'll click on the show button. It opens up a finder or Windows Explorer window with my catalog folder selected. Open that up. Now don't touch anything now <laughs> until you go back to Lightroom and quit. You don't want to rename the catalog while Lightroom is open. Here's my catalog with a dash 2. So I'll do a single click to get into the file name and delete the dash 2. But you could also right click on the file and choose rename. And then I'll change this from 6 to classic. And I'll hit enter. Next, I need to rename the previews file to be exactly the same with space previews after it. So I'll carefully come in here, delete the dash 2, change the 6 to classic. Again, make sure it's exactly the same, and then with space previews afterwards, I'll hit enter, and do the same with a smart previews file if you have one of those. Now, if everything looked good in the new version of Lightroom, you can delete your old Lightroom catalogs. So you can delete any old previews files and the LR cat files. I'll keep mine around for demos. Next, we need to tell Lightroom that we've renamed the catalog. So double-click on the LRCAT file to launch Lightroom with that renamed catalog. And then let's go into Preferences and tell Lightroom to always open with that catalog. Go to Lightroom on a Mac, edit on a PC, and then into Preferences this time. And on the General tab, under Default Catalog, click on the drop-down and choose the catalog that you just renamed. And then close Preferences. So that's it for renaming your catalog. The final step would be to go out and uninstall your old version of Lightroom. On a PC, you'd go into Add or Remove Programs. On a Mac, you would go into your Applications folder. Now, on a Mac, I want to show you that you have to be careful about how you uninstall it. If I'm uninstalling Lightroom 5, I just have a file. It's not a folder. There's a slight difference in the icons here. If you just have a file, you can move it to the trash. However, if you have a folder, you need to open it 
and double click on the uninstall program and run the uninstall program. Note that Adobe Lightroom is Lightroom 6 and Lightroom CC 2015. So that's the one you want to uninstall. You may or may not have Adobe Lightroom CC on your computer. That's the new cloud-based program. Now PC users, when you installed Lightroom Classic, a shortcut to it was put on your desktop. That's not the case on Macs. Mac users, you might want to put Lightroom Classic in your dock. If so, open the Lightroom Classic folder and drag the program file to your dock. Be sure to remove the old program from your dock though because they have the same icon, so it will be confusing. Of course, this is true for PC users as well in terms of icons on your desktop. Remove the old one. So that's it for installing Lightroom Classic. I hope you enjoy it.